Young, and this is Impressor Review, episode 34. Tonight, I'll be going over The Legends of Tomorrow, season 3, episode 11, titled Turncoat. So, in my opinion, this is a filler episode, just like it was for the Chicago. It doesn't really add much to the story, but it does continue the uh, story arc from where Thawne left off with controlling Rip's brain. So, what we see is that this was a plan for Rip. By killing Washington, it would bring the legends to the... Uh, the first quote-unquote American Civil War, which is my opinion is America versus Britain, and they would come down, and he would be able to get their, the, uh, the actual spear part of the spear of destiny, and it works. So after assessing like the information that they got that George Washington is going to die, the legends infiltrate a party a few days before the death to save Washington, only to be attacked by Britain force British forces, and surprised to see that it was Rip Hunter who was leading them. Now, as they got Washington out of the um, party, Rip shot Sarah dead in her gut, took George and Heatwave, and left Sarah to die out there in the cold. Now, Sarah does manage to um, get back to the Wave Rider, but beforehand, Rip activated an EMP that shut down all electrical devices, which left uh, Ray as a t in the shrunken atom suit it shut off the wave rider and gideon and it took away jackson stein's ability to turn into firestorm so most of the uh, powerful team members are out of it again so after sending nate and vixen out to uh, save mick oh i'm sorry i skipped something when she gets there with gideon out of it they are unable to you know heal her like they normally do so Jax takes control and sends vixen in save Nick and George Washington to get Washington to do the crossing of the Delaware. So Mick and George make it to the British camp and this is where George and Mick have like a conversation because beforehand George is like, oh, we're soldiers. Nothing bad is going to happen to us. And George is, and George is kind of surprised when the British soldier goes like, no, you're a, you're a rebel. You're not a soldier. You're going to be hung in the morning. Your friend over there, aka Heatwave is going to be taken home to his regiment with the word that you're dead and this rebellion is going to be over. So with his end coming, Mick, I mean, George Washington basically like sits down and goes like, well, I'm going to die. Here's a letter to my wife. Tell her I, I love her and not to free those slaves. Yeah, let's not play around. George had slaves. So Mick pretty much stands up and goes like, listen here, you punk ass bitch. Americans don't give up. America, fuck yeah, and all that good stuff. And it hits George because, not of course, it hits him dead in his soul. So the next day, instead of like sitting out of it and letting himself die, Mick and George plan an escape out. Now, before that, I just want, I felt like I should skim over this because it's kind of weird. Nate and Amaya were attacked by settlers, I guess. And it ended up with Nate falling in a river and get, getting hypothermia. And the result of that is Vixen had to do skin on skin contact to keep him warm. And then they ended up having sex. It, they had a little relationship. It's It seemed kind of um, unprofessional to me personally because during this time, you know, they're having their little intimate relationship. The Wave Rider is attacked by Rip Hunter and British forces. Now, Jax is able to handle them. But in the end, Rip was able to push Jax up against the wall because he had knocked out Stein and he has Sarah's throat in his hand. Don't forget, Sarah has a bullet in her gut. So Rip is just crushing her throat with a gun at Jax. Jax gives him the information to where the spear is and Rip just breaks Sarah's neck and goes get the spear. Luckily, yes, yes, Rip broke her neck. So Rip is full on like, not in his mind this is not how like before how caitlin could talk to zoom this is just full on it's not rip hunter anymore so angered Jax goes after rip but just before that ray was able to get gideon and the wave rider back online to heal her wound so they pretty much bring her back from the dead again so now that george washington mick and mick are saved but and nate and amaya did actually help it ends with Jax chasing Rip Hunter outside and aiming the pistol at him. And he's unable to pull the trigger. 
because during the entire episode, Jax had this mentality that Rip was still there. Rip could be saved, but after he did what he did to Sarah, Jax now fully believes that Rip is gone. And without, before he could actually pull the trigger, he couldn't because he could still see his friend Sarah, you know, back from the dead again. He comes down and she talks to him. She's like, Jax, kid, listen, I'm fine, but this is where we show our best colors. Don't kill Rip. So Rip gets away with the Spear of Destiny, or the Spear Spear of Destiny. The British attack, but the Legends are able to get America back on track. So now that it's all over, the Legends have to leave, and Mick made a f- Mick, Heat Wave made a friend out of George Washington. You know, they find, like, George Washington says, you are the finest example of what an American is, which is kind of interesting. It's, it, it does show that Mick has grown as a character. So much so that Washington made a statue monument to a statue of Mick and put it in the National Monument. Now, with all that over, the legends leave and they're in the Christmas spirit because Cross and Delaware happened on Christmas Day. So they have a little party and Sarah goes, Yes, I know things are looking bad. We lost the spear, we lost Rip. But we're going to come back stronger than ever. We're going to get Rip back. We're going to get the spear back. And we're going to send the Legion down to hell. She didn't say that exactly. But it was what she was getting. And she said the main point is. The difference between the Legion and the Legends are. Even though the Legion is powerful. The Legends fight like family. Which we have seen is 100% true. This episode to me is a 6.5. It's a 6.5 is. It was really good. Because Mick, in my opinion, made the show. Anyways, I think I'm passing the point where I should stop and I should send this in. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found this informative. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.